after more than a hundred days our president Muhammad Buhari is finally back and you know what when he came in a lot of people were excited nigerians were jumping up and down they were shouting say baba say buhari especially in the northern part of nigeria well our president is back and um, the media assistant to the president or media aide to the president mr femi adeshino has come out to say look our president can go back to the united kingdom for treatment at any time he decides to or wishes to my name is amla Okola, and today on street is I want to ask Nigerians what they think about the president returning from the United Kingdom and going back to the United Kingdom anytime soon. Do you think it's a good idea for our president to go back to the United Kingdom again to seek medical help, to get medical treatment, or should he just fix the facilities in the country and avoid spending national money on trips here and there? Maybe he likes to travel. I know our president doesn't like to travel like that, he likes his people, but then he has to stay with us and be fine for us. That's all we want to find out on the street today. Let's go. Mm. It's a thing of joy that he's back. Many Nigerians expect him to be back, even before now. I'm very much aware of uh, Charlie Boy's protest that he should resume or resign. So he's coming back now. <laughs> it's a welcome idea. So I'm very happy that he's back. Okay, but his media aide said he might go back to the United Kingdom many times soon. Do you think this is a good idea as well? That's not a good idea. He's going, he's going back again. He's going to go, not going to do a, a, a right thing to the nation. His absence all this while is not helping the economy. It's not helping anybody. That's why even Nigerians in UK protested, protested against it. So if he should return back to UK now, I don't think it would do us any good. Right? It would do us harm than good. So what do you think he should do? Fix the things in the country or still go to the United Kingdom when he's sick? What I think is the right thing to do, since his state of health, will not allow him to, to, to fix the nation, to fix the economy. That is he want to go back. I think what I mean, what me as a person, what I see about it is that he should better resign. He should resign. Let someone that is capable should, 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 should take over. It's like as if we are imposing the presidential position on him. Nobody is imposing it on him. If you know that he's no longer fit, you, you, you can't force somebody to work. For instance, now where I work, if the, if the, my head will not allow me, I will resign. When I am okay, I will get another job. Because the president wants to die in the position by all means. If he's not if he's not fit to rule, let him resign. Let him honorably resign to somebody who is capable to take us forward. No, it's not that we we miss him or something like that. You know, but we can't pray you can't pray for somebody to die like that, just like that. You know? So we wish him good, you understand? It's just for him to just lead us where we need the peaceful of the country. You understand? That is all. Okay, so they said he might go back to the UK anytime soon. How does that make you feel? That means he's not feeling fine. He's not still all right. You understand? So the country have to say something about that. It's not, we, we can't be keeping on waiting for him like that. You understand? Time is not in our hands. You know? So a president is back. How do you feel? Well, I'm glad he's back. You know, in the initial place, Everybody thought that the thing is so serious that you couldn't come back alive. But by the glory of God, he came back alive. But one thing I want to say is my own opinion. Before, if in case, again, you want to leave back for medical vacation, we need to put some things in order. Because you can see now that there's so many conflict all around. And it's so much important of his conversation. At least, if you can talk to us based on the health condition, they have so many special advisors that can dress us with uh, social media, uh, can dress us maybe in Twitter. In, there, there's so many forums that they can talk to us as a Nigeria. It's not, I didn't get it that uh, always from somebody will be addressing Nigeria on, our, uh, on his behalf, which probably is not right for me. You understand? And um, uh, pertaining the the the... the the, the advice, um, which is Oshobanjo, the vice president, during when he's not around, he plays his rule well. And despite what are people saying, that um, even which is his wife said that the people have already hijacked his government, then Oshobanjo comport himself, and then I believe he didn't do do much on his own power as an active, and nobody is uh, controlling him. Um, thank God he's back, but. Uh as for me, oh, I feel so angry. You feel angry that he's back? Yeah. Why? 
because since it's Nigeria, it's not uh, it's not not either is since it's Nigeria now it's it's not okay. So I think that maybe the time that he left, your son, the vice is taking everything and everything is like going normal small. So but now it's back. I think the thing will be worse than as before. I don't understand. You are saying that because business is back to the country, things in Nigeria will be worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you think so? Because since since when he was in the seat, you understand, things is very high, like you know, rice, beans, so those kind of things that are very high. So most people are suffering for hungry, something like that, so those kind of things there. So I'm not feeling fine about that situation in Nigeria now. Okay, but they said he might go back to the UK to seek medical attention again. What do you think about that? Uh, let him go now. Yeah. Let him go. You want him to leave the country again? Yeah. Why? Because once he leave, I think that everything will be okay. As for me, once he leave, everything will be okay. So that's the only feeling that you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once the president is not around, everything in Nigeria will be Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we should now stay there if the president is not around? Yeah? If he's not around, we should stay there? The device will stay there. The device will stay there. Leave everything for the device. The device will take care of everything. And everything will be normal. About. Yeah, yeah. Everything will be okay. Yeah, sure. I'm sure you. Who told you about this? Yeah? Who told you? Nobody told me. Nobody told me. That is what I feel inside me. President Buhari is back, but actually I don't tell anything that he is coming back making impact. Honestly. Because whether he comes back or not, Nigeria has been into fact I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. We are we are into we are, we are into Niger we are suffering fat. When it's come back, it does not come back, it does not matter anything. So we pray that as they come back, let there be a change. Okay, but his media aid has said he might go back to the United Kingdom again for medical attention. But it's not of going back, let him resign now if he cannot continue. So that we, let's look for another president. Or let's just let's just assume that you have completed this channel. Then it's 2019, look for another government. Okay. Uh, what I see. If it is okay for him to come back, it is okay. If he's going back, now he has a reason. Maybe because of the anxious of Nigeria. That is why he, he came back spontaneously. So we wouldn't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not there to explain what the reason why he comes back spontaneously. So if he is going, maybe he allowed the tension of Nigeria to come. So he, he needs to go back. You think it is a good idea that our president is going to the UK to seek medical attention? And it's not properly uh, okay because we have a medical personnel in the country. He, he also he confirmed that nobody, any civil servant, should go overseas and treat himself. But uh, for him to go back and treat himself there, that means He's telling us, and it's a slap on the medical, all the entire medical association, that we are, we are not capable to treat him. So if he's going by, he's using the authority that he's the president and all his authority, so no problem. We are, we are Nigerian. We can't do anything. We can't do anything to make war. But it is, it is uncalled for for our president to go to the UK and treat his it's the same scientific, uh, scientific uh, uh, ideology. Everybody is practicing. So he's telling the medical association that we are not capable. Even the UK, they are telling us, we have a professor of medicine in the country. We have everybody. We have everything to take for, for him to be okay in our country. So for him to carry our money over there, spend hard currency and so on. So. It's left for him. We are very happy that the president is, is back. And if he still need more for his treatment, he can still go back to treat him. Say very well. You think he should go back abroad to treat him? Yeah, Why? It, if he still need more treatment. So what is the sort of saying here yeah, without, the, I mean, the, it's been a comfort for his uh, health. So if he still need more treatment, it's better for president to go back and treat himself very well. Okay, but don't you think that it's making um, the practitioners in Nigeria, the medical guys in Nigeria, look foolish by leaving Nigeria for another country for treatment? Yeah, you know, uh, one of the medical doctor, he said that they still need more equipment. The kind of treatment Barry went to go and treat in London, we don't have the equipment yet. We don't have it yet. 
we don't have it I don't can we not buy it yeah we can buy it why haven't we bought them yeah that is depend on that is uh there is it is depend on the federal government to arrange for that or other medical doctor they can plan and arrange for that instead of going back to there and get the treatment so if we don't have the coupon here it's better for him to go back there um, we thank god we thank god that he come back and we give him good we pray for him for his good health so that he may continue to rule this Nigeria. That this, his sickness won't fail Nigeria. That God will give him good health. That he will be able to control Nigeria because it's not easy. It's not easy. Nigeria is not easy. It's a complex country, which, if you are not brave, eh, you can't control it. But if you are brave, you will be able to control Nigeria well. And I give, I pray for him that God will give him the spirit of brave, fear of God, love God, respect human beings and love human being as yourself really is coming it's very good but in his in in his own time i pray that nigeria will be okay it affects me as i'm standing here how how does that affect you i have no money in my pocket why uh -uh. no money to spend I have uh, something to say. It's only, I'm very sorry that I can't get near him to say, please, give me an envelope. You want to buy that? I, of, of course. It's our leader. If I have money, I'm just coming from the bank now. No money for me there. I can show you the, my, no, if possible, I can give my, you my uh, account number you know, to send some money to me. So send to Bwari? I can give my uh, my account number to Buhari so that we know that how I am a grassroots man here. Eh? So, that, you know, people are sovereign among business here. People are sovereign. They are sovereign. They said Buhari can go back to the UK for medical attention. Ah, no. I don't pray for that. Because if I say it should go back, that's no. That's a cause. I don't want. Mm, 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 mm. I put into prayer that when he come back now, it will be. He will not have any sickness anymore, so that you be have full time to. To, to look after the Nigeria citizenry. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you, and I wish him. I wish him long life prosperous life but he still remember me i will put my name can i call my name yes call your name. my name is omo behin eh? does barry know you i i know him but uh, he doesn't recognize too much or well, if he hears your name he will remember you if he hear my name that prince omo behin Huh? He will remember me. Ah, that is why I said I will give you my account number, if possible, to him, to send me some money. I need money. I can't hide my feeling. All right, sir. Thank you very much. No work. Hmm? And to see him is not easy. The security conscious. They won't allow us to see him. Huh? If I know of his minister, I won't have enough to see him. But yet, I vote for him. And the president should please speed on in putting on the economic and let people enjoy it. The whole country are not fine, at least for now. We, we can all see essential communities keep on going on. It's not dropping. It keep on going on. So we can't continue with this till the kingdom comes. We are almost half, if not 
two and a half years of this government. Really, they've tried their part in the area, I think, in terms of security and other things, they've tried. But they should also put an effort, bring the prices of commodity down and let people start feeling the part of what they voted for on ground. Okay, but they said he might go back to UK for medical attention. What do you think about that? If he feels it's not yet OLD to continue the job, <laughs> he has no choice than to go. You think it's good enough that our president is going to the UK when we have um, hospitals and facilities? Uh, uh, it depends. It depends. That is Maybe that is where he has the best that can take care of what of the, the challenges has is in his body. So nobody can, you know, this is a matter of life. We can't really stop him from going for where he's seeking his uh, medical attention. It's better for that man to resign. There's no need to just keep disturbing us. He's not capable to be our president. I can't lie, I'm saying the truth. If they all receive us, we masses. We are not a fool. Uh, especially things that happen in this country. Let me just say the truth. All the people that are rural, both the, both the what they call president and so senator, they are just trying to receive we masses. They are all rogues. They should just give us yeah, their words to masses. They are suffering us now. We are just suffering now. Okay, just look at what is happening in Lagos now. They don't even want let the poor ones should so, find out to survive. Every day they will chasing people up and down. So why are we trying? We don't have. There's nothing we can do about that. So most important thing what we need now we need that god should help us in this country all those people that are here they can't do anything for us because Seb, why you may go back to uk anytime soon do you think this uh, he make, you know he may he make such comments say uh, any any uh, any person uh, any government official should not go out for travel he is the person is the person that make that suggestion he is the person that first break the, the law so why is he going out for travel for treatment for he, so he's trying to say that in nigeria there is no special hospital that can treat him. That's what he's trying to say. He just went there and read just he's not our president to say the truth. He just Who's uh, president is he? Uh, he, uh, he's, our, he's our president at least. Since he ever he can uh, have even see all the promise he made to us, there's no one he fulfill. Uh, so we are here just suffering on the street. So just look at me to survive there is not an easy but I, I'm not looking up onto that President stuff. What I'm trying to see how I will survive on my own for the days. Was anything concerning all these president there and there? They are just wasting their time receiving all we, we masses. So there's nothing. It's not a new thing. That's what they used to do. So as for now, you return, no return. It's not our business. So that's what I have to say. I'm just talking my feeling. I'm a I'm a woman being. That's what I have to say. I feel good. I'm happy. It's bad, but to be candid. Bodies, various issue. What I want to say is that I think Brad should just resign. He should resign. Because it's not okay. It's just like a pastor having a congregation and does not attend church. It's very, very bad. He should resign. That's what I can say about this issue. He just uh, resign. Do you agree that? After more than a hundred days, our president, Muhammad Bari, is finally back. And you know what? When he came in, a lot of people were excited. Nigerians were jumping up and down. They were shouting, say Baba, say Buhari, especially in the northern part of Nigeria. Well, our president is back, and um, the media assistant to the president, or media aide to the president, Mr. Femi Adeshino, has come out to say, look, our president can go back to the United Kingdom for treatment at any time he decides to or wishes to. My name is Amla Okola, and today on Street Gs, I want to ask Nigerians what they think about the president returning from the United Kingdom and going back to the United Kingdom anytime soon. You think it's a good idea for our president to go back to the United Kingdom again to seek medical help, to get medical treatment, or should he just fix the facilities in the country and avoid spending national money on trips here and there? Maybe he likes to travel. I know our president doesn't like to travel like that. He likes his people, but then he has to stay with us and be fine for us. That's all we want to find out on the show today. Let's go. Mm. It's a thing of joy 